Fall, it's the best season of the year. If you disagree, well, you're wrong. We're talking sweater weather, leaves changing colors, Halloween, pumpkin spice everything, and of course, apple picking. That brings us to today's conversation. How do you perfectly pair apples on a pizza? I think I have the answer, but in order to test my theory, we're gonna have to go pick some apples. Let me just throw my flannel on and we'll get going. Let's go get some apples. Thanks to the kids, we have plenty of apples to work with and we're ready to get started. This pizza is gonna have four key ingredients, hot honey smoked apples, cheddar cheese, crispy bacon, and a homemade lemon ricotta. These four ingredients should give us the perfect combination of sweet and savory. Let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we gotta get these apples in the smoker. We're using Cortland's for this. They have the right characteristics for a savory and sweet dish. Peel and slice five apples. Place into a pan with about an eighth of an inch of water, then cover the apples in hot honey. Get your smoker up to 250 degrees and load up some good hardwood. We're using apple wood, obviously. If you don't have a smoker, you could grill your apples or just roast them in the oven. We're gonna smoke these at 250 for 45 minutes. Next, we cook up some bacon. Again, apple wood smoked. Line a tray with parchment paper and then throw down your bacon. Pop into a 375 degree oven for 20 minutes. Perfectly crispy bacon. Give it a rough chop and set it to the side. Next, we're gonna shred some good cheddar. We'll mix this in a 50-50 ratio with shredded mozzarella when we go to top the pizza. Now we're gonna make some ricotta. In a deep pan, add one quart of whole milk, bring it up to exactly 200 degrees, and then add a quarter cup lemon juice and a teaspoon of salt. Give it a little stir and watch the magic happen. Let the curds rest for 10 minutes and then strain through a cheesecloth. Voila, lemon ricotta. We just need to grab our apples out of the smoker and we are ready to build this pizza. On a well-floured work surface, stretch out your pizza dough. This dough is from my all-purpose dough recipe. There's a link for that video in the description. First, we add about a half a cup of our shredded cheddar and mozzarella blend, then a good portion of our smoked apples. Next, the crispy bacon, a little more of the cheese blend, Finally, we add our ricotta. I put mine into a pastry bag to make it easier. However, you can just spoon dollops onto it as well. All right, we are ready to bake. I'm gonna use the rock box today. However, a home oven is fine as well. After about three minutes, my pizza is ready to come out. We're gonna finish it with another long drizzle of the hot honey. Bam. A pretty good looking apple pizza. All right, just spent 10 minutes explaining about what I liked about this pizza and what I didn't like, and then I realized I didn't hit record. To summarize what I said in a long rambling review of this pizza, the ricotta, best part about it, it's awesome. I should do that all of the time. The smoke on the apples, not as intense as I thought it would be, which is a good thing. I was a little worried to be overpowering. The combination's really good, it just seems to be missing something. However, the more I eat it, the more I want to eat more of it. So I started off with a meh review of it, and by the time I finished talking, which I didn't record, I decided I liked it a lot more. And the end result was 7.3 out of 10. That's what I decided to give it. Next time I'm thinking a little fresh chives chopped up on top is the way to go. Otherwise, I would do it again. Side note, if you haven't hit subscribe yet, please do that. Please, pretty please, pretty pretty please, love ya.